Residents living in a small, remote village in one of the harshest climates on Earth are helping scientists investigate evidence of alarming changes in the Arctic's climate. Sea ice is shrinking. Species of wild game necessary to sustain the village are moving farther north, too far away to hunt. Thawing and erosion of the ground around their homes threatens the future of the community. Scientists believe that the Inuit of Saks Harbor in Canada's Northwest Territories may be eyewitnesses to dramatic climate change in the Arctic. Witnesses to change that may someday impact the entire planet. Long ago in my childhood, we followed the seasons and the weather. Even the animals, the caribou, followed the weather. Now there are hardly any caribou on the island. Life has become unpredictable for all of us. The Inuit people of Saks Harbor, who call themselves Inuvialuit, have reason for concern. Their village lies in the extreme climate of the high northern latitudes, near the edge of the polar ice cap, more than 400 miles above the Arctic Circle. Temperatures plunge to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit during long months of sunless winter. We've always had extreme weather conditions, but what is more extreme now is that uh, there's no predictability. Climate specialists are relying on the Inuit's intimate knowledge of their environment and sensitivity to even the smallest changes in it to better understand how the Arctic is changing. This is knowledge that has been accumulated over many, many centuries. It's oral tradition, it's uh, scientific knowledge, it's our scientific knowledge. Today, the Inuit oral climate record is helping scientists understand the scope of changes in the northern latitudes. There have been very dramatic changes in the Arctic, and most of the Arctic has shown a tremendous amount of warming. Uh, the sea ice is much thinner. It has uh, decreased in the central Arctic from about 4 meters, 12 feet, uh, to about 2 meters, uh, about half the, half the thickness. So these are fantastic changes. These changes affect more than just sea ice. Some species of animals and fish no longer migrate through the town's hunting grounds. Others have been arriving and departing earlier or later than usual. In years past, ice flows formed a giant floating highway that transported seal, walrus, and polar bear into the Inuit hunting grounds. Unusually warm spring and summer weather in recent years has seen the flows diminish. We used to have ice flows all summer. The only just come a little bit, people go there and go and tap the ice and wait for seals and tap the ice. Now how many summers we never have ice? It's very sad. The sea is not the only thing that has gotten warmer. The permafrost around Saks Harbor, ground that is normally frozen most of the year, is thawing more than ever during summer months, threatening to dislocate the community. I'd say about 87, you start noticing the permafrost that's coming down. And the warmer summers, earlier springs, and once this start, I don't know what's going to stop it. I think we'll have to evacuate the community, move somewhere else. People have been telling us uh, that the, the past, uh, let's say, dozen or 15 years have been really dramatically quite different on the landscape. They've noticed um, a lot of uh, melting features on the landscape that they haven't noticed as much in the past. And that's, that's really uh, of concern to us uh, in terms of changing climate. It's, it's a key signal, perhaps. The troubling signals observed by climate scientists and the Inuit could mean dramatic changes ahead for the people of Saks Harbor and the rest of the Arctic. Every activity, every economic activity, every social activity in the Arctic is beginning to be affected and will be affected even more if this climate trend continues. These types of changes, I don't know. Uh, we're usually pretty good at adapting to sort of changes, but something like this, who knows what could go on. The Inuit people have survived centuries in the Arctic by closely observing their surroundings and adapting their lives when necessary to the environment they depend on. 
The future of Sachs Harbor and the communities of the North once again depends on their ability to adapt, this time to the greatest changes they have ever witnessed.